what is more popular overall is our national are are the national cards you know with with the national teams on it more popular than the club cards that the teams you know whenever they're wearing their club kits versus national kits um again uh -huh. i understand i realize you know that this will be also subjective but generally yes speaking, yes generally speaking what fetches a higher price is is it the national or the club kits uh steve if you want to take these you go ahead my man okay well because of the licensing was the way that it was you're really yeah. not seeing many club kits until now um okay yeah, the, the 2019 20 premier league prism set is the first set that you're going to get guys in their premier league uh kits um guys like um you know mo salah who yep. you know is a big star or in sadio mané since we're talking about yep. liverpool but anyway those guys are going to have their liverpool kits in this year's premier prism but every prism card prior to that like 2018 they're going to be either on egypt senegal the national teams that they play for because um panini didn't have the rights to release them in their it, they didn't have the rights to any league any of the five leagues so all going all the way back to 2014 prism 15 16 select 17 18 select all everything is all national kits until maybe last year's Nash last year's optic product they acquired the license in late 2018 or early 2019 the license to la liga league one bundesliga mm -hmm. Serie A, and premier league so that's why those optics cards you're starting to see juventus kits of cristiano ronaldo yeah. Yeah. Um, because an optic was a back end of the year product. So you didn't see it. You didn't get a prism product because they didn't yet have the license. But towards the end of the year, when they're producing optic, they had acquired the license. And that's when tops had premier league. They actually traded tops for the premier league and tops took Bundesliga. Wow. That's basically what happened with that. Okay. Uh, they yeah. wanted the premier league. So when you're looking for a Christian Pulisic Chelsea card, it's going to be yep. a 2019 prism. Everything prior okay. to that, is going to have him as a tops card with yes with with dortmund or yep. uh as a select uh with the u.s national team mm -hmm. yeah and i want to add is steve's point steve steve he's got like what do you call it great licensing points but i would say right now all champions league the domestic league games are going on currently mm -hmm. so so maybe we see a boost in like the yeah. english premier league things like that but wait until summer of 2021 when the euro and the olympics and copa america all take place then who knows maybe now the national team kits are extremely relevant like brazil and france mm -hmm. um, um i'm also wondering if yeah if the premier league prism is going to see prism was exclusive to just the premier league so mm -hmm. prism was mm -hmm. made in 2019 2020 but you're not going to see guys like messi ronaldo mbappe neymar yeah. They don't have a 1920 Prism card because it was it was just Premier League. Um, those okay. guys play in other leagues. Yeah. I'm wondering if going forward that Prism is going to stay exclusive to the Premier League or if they're just going to expand to all the leagues. Um, it, I, I'm really not sure. It's and I and I do know the license between Tops and Bundesliga was going to run out. I think in 2020 or 2021, and I wouldn't okay. be surprised if Panini tried to just take it all. Yeah. yeah, it's it's interesting that Panini has the rights to the Premier League, which obviously, as I understand it, is the most prestigious league on the planet. But arguably, and maybe not even arguably, um, Cristiano Ronaldo plays for Juventus, which is in Serie A, obviously, and um, you know Messi is could potentially sign. We're going to talk about that later, but currently he's playing. Yeah. You know, for Barcelona, which is also not in the Premier League, so kind of interesting that they you think they would want the two biggest stars on the planet, uh, and be able to license those products to you know, I'm assuming that would sell more cards, but that's super yeah. duper interesting to me. Um, we did have a question here, uh, that is mm -hmm. was relevant a couple minutes ago, um, but what about Stadium Club? I'm assuming we're talking about top Stadium Club, um, is that at all? Um, worth investing in or is that more for fun for collectors well i mean alfonso uh davies had that famous 2018 stadium club card so i mean if you see mls products like like the mls uh, young players coming up and like to the bundesliga or the premier league like miguel almaron then maybe stadium club is relevant 
but I haven't really seen that be too much of a popular product in the other leagues. Maybe Bundesliga might do that. I don't know. I am not like the most versed in terms of the licensing. Steve is a guy in terms of that. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. Steve Steve definitely um, knows his stuff with well, the license. Yeah. One example Steve I can use on those stadium club cards and just and the tops Premier Gold, they're right around the same year when they had Premier League, um, going back to like 2015, 16. Um, there's a Kevin De Bruyne rookie card in there. And I have them on my eBay watch list and they're sitting uh-huh. anywhere between 30 and 50 bucks and they've been sitting uh-huh. on my watch list forever. But if you see a 2016 prism hit the shelf, yeah. it's going for 125 bucks. Wow. And these tops yeah. and top stadium are just sitting and not even getting bought. Uh, and they, and if you look at this Kevin De Bruyne card from the tops premier, mm-hmm. um, it actually has the rookie card logo on it and everything. Um, wow. it, it's a really nice looking card and he's in his, uh, man city uh kit where right the prism has him in his belgium kit so it's a rookie of him and his technically his first yeah. premier league kit and for some reason it people don't buy it like they do that 2016 <laughs> prism people i mean people are nuts for prism man it's i think that's just kind of the way right now which it is what it is um I've shared my opinions on quite a bit of the channel and uh, honestly select and optic both of them. But in terms of investing, if you're trying to go for that dog, I think it's a very clearly, uh, it's definitely clearly prism and, you know, uh, uh. Or, or select. Um, we have a quote here as, as cards are US, if if European to get cards, will they just get the stick set of cards? Um, I know um, generally speaking, Americans put the sticks. Uh, yeah, European a little bit. Yeah, sorry, Les, it was lagging just a little bit. I was just saying that uh, Americans uh, typically don't like uh, the the stickers whereas europeans kind of favor the stickers yeah that's yeah that's that's a very interesting like like battle i don't know <laughs> because you know like the way we like cards even ingrained from the baseball card culture that's what the european stickers have done since 70s and 80s and the 1986 world cup in mexico that was like a famous time to get some of the world cup stickers so I mean, who knows? It depends on the European minority population in America. Okay. I mean, and plus everybody's trying to get into the soccer cards. If soccer cards is a huge premium above people's budgets, they might have to look for stickers because there's some pretty Ooh. decently priced like World Cup stickers and all, all sorts of, there's just so much sticker product out there. Mm-hmm. So much. Um, yeah, and I've kind of discussed this before, but there's a yeah. couple of things that I think deter people away from the stickers. One of them, and I'll, I'll just touch on it really quickly, is that yeah. stickers have never held value here. You know, we've always had the mm-hmm. sticker books and they've just never really been valuable. It's always yeah. been cards, cards, cards. Yeah. Um, also, it, you know, being in a world of, of stuff all about being graded these days, it's tough to buy a sticker in a raw state. Um, Stickers are tough grades. They're cut funny. Uh, they can peel yep. all yep. kinds of different things unless you're opening packs yourself, which is something that we don't necessarily do here because they're not common. Yep. Um, <laughs> now in that. Europe, yeah. in Europe, they know the stickers and people tend to, you know, they go what they know. It's just easier to go with you with what you know. But I do feel that the popularity of basketball growing worldwide and the popularity of Prism growing with basketball is also going to funnel over into now more uh, people worldwide wanting cards yeah. as opposed to yeah. us changing the stickers. And I think it's going to have a lot to do with the other markets crossing over, causing the cards to cross over. Yeah. yeah. I, I tend to agree. And I think also that what is probably more likely, at least from for Americans, if we get priced out of Prisms, if we get priced out of selects and optics then i think those tops cards and the non you know shiny cards basically start to become 
a little bit more desirable and eventually because we saw it already with basketball you know the prisms you get priced out of prism then you go to optic then you go to select and then hoops who would have thought you know six yeah. months ago that hoops cards would be selling for the prices that they are um so i could see that happening here with uh with soccer cards as well